everyone, it's Erin. If you're finding me for the very first time, welcome. I'm glad you found my channel and hope that you'll stick around and click that subscribe button. Today I'm going to be unboxing the March Target Beauty Box for you. And if you are interested in getting the next Target Beauty Box, which they're coming out about every month now, then make sure to follow me on Facebook and Twitter. The links I will leave down below because I alert you as soon as I find out about them so that you can go and get one as well because they do go very fast. I also wanted to let you know that I have a new Instagram account and I will link that down below for you as well but it's Erin Broadman 1183 so go and check that out because I put a little bit different content there than I do on my Facebook and Twitter. So this month's box was five dollars. The target boxes vary from anywhere from five to ten dollars. Usually it's either five, seven, or ten. But this time around it was five so let's see what's inside. So this one they call vacay vibes so that should be interesting. It's probably good things to take on a vacation and then as always we have our $3 off a $15 beauty purchase or more from Target and instead of the classic red they've got a pretty mint green but it's looking more blue on camera but it's a very nice color tissue this month Ooh, right away I've picked up a nail polish and I'm excited about this because it's actually a color that I like it's kind of a mint turquoise and that's one of my favorite colors so I'll definitely enjoy using this. It's from Sinful Colors and I have gotten one other polish from them I think in a Target box that was blue and I liked it so I'll be excited to try this out. Next is Not Your Mother's Beach Babe Texturizing Sea Salt Hairspray and I am actually running low on my sea salt spray so that's great to get another one especially going into the warmer summer months travel goes great with the vacation travel theme so I'll be anxious to see how this one works I've heard about this not your mother's brand but I've never used anything from them doesn't seem to have a scent that I can detect and it didn't spray the greatest at first but it might need to have a few more pumps to get a more even spray. You Are Amazing is the brand Hello Beautiful Skin Body Lotion in Juicy Grapefruit. I love getting body lotions because I love trying out different body lotions. And while I've never heard of this brand, Juicy Grapefruit sounds like it would be a nice, fresh, summery scent. And it says it's paraben-free, phthalate-free, never tested on animals, and made in the USA. Hmm, smells nice. Light and fresh, but not overly powering of citrus or grapefruit. So I'm excited to use this and see how the lotion formula works. Let me know if you'd like me to do follow-up videos on these Target Beauty Box unboxings to let you know what I thought of the items. What I could do is this is March's box, so next month when I unbox, hopefully an April box, I could then review the items from the March box. So let me know in the comments down below if that's something that you would like me to do, and I will do that for you. Next is a Caress body wash, and it's in the scent Adore Forever. I did get a Caress body wash in one of the last Target Beauty boxes I did when I did the Battle of the Target Beauty Boxes, and I will link that up above for you, so make sure to check that out if you haven't seen it. But I believe that was a different scent, so it'll be nice to have two different scents from Caress. And this one smells nice. Not the same as before. It smells a little bit lighter and less scented, which can be nice. And sunscreen, always something I need. This is from Banana Boat and it says Sun Comfort. Oh, this is interesting. Sand easily brushes off and it relieves dryness. And it's SPF 30 with UVA and UVB protection. Water resistant for up to 80 minutes. So 
I'm excited to try this because of the fact that it says it relieves dryness because a lot of sunscreens don't do that. They just protect but they don't help moisturize your skin or anything like that. I don't know when I'll be getting to the beach again but I will be curious if the sand really does brush off easily because that would be worth purchasing it for just in itself since the sand tends to stick to your sunscreen usually so I'm hoping this lives up to its claims. And we have a foil packet in here. Target it doesn't typically do foil packets, but since this is a $5 box, I'm guessing that's why. Uh, but this is for Clairol Hair Food, Moisture Shampoo Infused with Honey and Apricot Fragrance, as well as the conditioner. And I did get the Hair Food leave-in conditioning treatment, or not leave-in, but basically hair mask. And I really like that, so I am kind of curious to try out just the shampoo and conditioner and foil packets aren't always bad because I did try one recently that I got in another box for some L'Oreal products and found that I really liked them so this might work out well Ooh, yay this is exciting I have gotten this brand Laneige before in Target boxes I really liked their facial moisturizer have tried out their BB cushion and still I'm on the fence about that. Not sure how it works with my skin, but I'm looking to try it again. So I've been excited and anxious to try more products for that from them. And this is a water sleeping mask. So it says overnight revitalizing gel mask infused with orange flower, rose, and sandalwood, brightening antioxidant. Hunza apricot extract, retexturizing chestnut extract, and it is dermatologist tested. Use once or twice a week. So it's an overnight mask, and I tend to like overnight masks because you can put it on before bed, not have to think or worry about it again until you wake up in the morning as opposed to having to wait a certain amount of time and then wash it off. So I'll be looking to try this out very soon. It's a good size, pretty packaging, very light blue all around packaging. And it has a light soft scent, which is nice. Sometimes I don't like scented products, especially for the face, but at least this isn't overly strong. And the final item is from Nug, which I've heard of but never used anything from, and it's another face mask. And it says it's anti-aging with vitamin B3 and white tea extract. Helps to improve skin elasticity and neutralize free radicals. And this is just a one-time use sample, but still two face masks. It looks like Target's kind of expanding in the types of products they're getting, which is exciting. So in this box, you got seven items, eight if you count the foil packet, which for $5 I think is still great. Granted, you didn't get any full-size items in this box, but I think the variety again is really good, and I'm excited to try a lot of these products. It's going to be hard to choose favorites, but again, I love the Target Beauty Box. They do a great job, and I can't say enough good things about them. So while I'm excited to try all of these products, I narrowed it down to the three that I'm most excited to use, and that is the nail polish, because I simply just love nail polish and love getting new colors. The lotion, because I don't often get hand lotions in my subscription boxes and this is a great one to put in your purse and take with you and I'm just hoping that it's a good formula. And the last one I'm most excited to try is the face mask because I have another overnight face mask that I really love from Origins and I'm excited to see how this one matches up to that. So that was everything in the March Target Beauty box. Give this video a thumbs up if you love unboxing videos and make sure to check out my playlist of all the other unboxings that I've done. What was your favorite item from this month's box? Leave me a comment down below and let me know. Thank you so much for watching. 
Have a wonderful day, and I'll see you soon in another video. Bye! Okay, so I've had a couple of mishaps with this recipe. First off, I dropped all the Cadbury